countless numbers of people are unaware they owe their life to the dedication, passion and commitment of one special woman. I don't think Judy realises sometimes just how remarkable she is. She saved lives. You know, there, there's, there's kids running around today that wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for Judy. I thank God every day for Judy, and if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. Since 1981, former nurse Judy Ledger has raised nearly nine million pounds for new mothers and babies, donating equipment and providing training to around 250 hospitals. I think a brilliant testimony for Judy is the fact that the majority of special care baby units in the country uh, would have received a beneficiary from Baby Lifeline. But Judy's selfless work would never have begun had it not been for her own experience six months into her first pregnancy. I became quite ill one day and ended up um, in labour and giving birth to a, a dead baby girl. It was not to be her only bereavement. She lost two more babies, both within 24 hours of them being born. I was then not only physically shocked, but mentally shocked. I, I felt a failure. And I think I needed to do something positive. I do think it's remarkable that out of her own personal tragedy, she has managed to create something so incredible. Working alone, Judy wanted to raise money for the ward, and she began by selling raffle tickets at work. It was a humble beginning, but she had loftier ambitions. Princess Diana and Prince Charles donated some wedding gifts um, for her to auction to raise money for the charity, which was obviously amazing at the time. Things took off, and Judy convinced other famous faces to fight for a cause. I think that just is a credit to my mum. She's very persuasive. Um, she doesn't really take no for an answer. I am really, really honoured to open this unit. She doesn't earn any money from it. It's completely driven by passion and desire and, and dedication. She is a fighter, and this is her life. Ooh, wow! She'll continue to fight for babies and to make sure that they get the best possible chance in life. And here she is, Judy Ledger. First of all, how you cope with the loss of three children. And at the time, because they were all premature, very premature, mm. weren't they? Very. The doctors didn't know why they weren't surviving. No. How difficult was that? It was very difficult. As I said, you feel a failure. And um, I was told I'd probably not, never have any children. So it was a really weird sort of feeling of total failure, total desperation, and feeling just lost, really. But. I've got three children. You so. have three beautiful children. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're very proud of them. Now. Now, to present you with your award, we have one of our most esteemed actors, a knight of the realm, and a patron of the Baby Lifeline oh. charity, Sir oh. Ben Kingsley. <laughs> Judy, in your grief, you threw a pebble into a little pond in Warwickshire. Let me remind you now of those ripples. 250 hospitals in the UK. 5,000 health workers trained by you, midwives, doctors, pediatricians. And your voice has now been heard in Vietnam, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and the United States of America. That ripple has now reached global proportions. It's an honor, Judy for me to give this to you.